he is reflecting his own emotions about AKA, not B. And the way this boy died, Ipsungulent of to me and Mina, there is no song that's worth his life. Fifty mm. percent. What's fifty percent of what? And he didn't even know what song it is. Mm. Does he know which song it is? Kulevo on culture. Hello and welcome to Ngululego on Culture. Thank you very much for joining us. My next guest is a very, very special person in South African music history uh, and in South African history in general as well. Growing up in the 2000s, you would see him uh, as one of a power couple, really. I would see him being presented like that with Umamu Letambulu. Everyone would say that I would like to be Kaifa Simenya and Letambulu if they were talking about the relationship context. Of course, there is a musical context too because Michael Jackson recorded a bad album. The name of the album is called Bad. Uh, it sold over 25 million copies and they had a hand uh, in that album as well we'll talk about that too recently uh, Ubao Kaifa Simenya there was a news story about AK of course was recently passed on now um, and we know that AK recorded a song called The Kaifa Song so there's a lot of confusion about uh, the royalties of that song uh, someone is suing this or that so he's here to speak for himself as well all respect to the legends I would like you to have a lot of understanding and respect in the way that you approach this episode thank you very much for joining us and that is Semenya, thank you very much for joining us sir. thanks for inviting me yes thank you i really appreciate having you here um there is there is a clear cultural uh, disconnect in south africa where we don't mm. grow up predominantly with our grandfathers mm. uh, for whatever reason and we know we never get to understand the context of music that was done in the 80s 70s 60s and even the influence of south african musicians with american musicians and mm. um, we don't even know that we'll talk about that at some point and i really appreciate having you um let's start with the aka situation Please. he's passed on yeah. um he did the kaifa song Mm-hmm. Um, that takes from your song sampling. I'm from hip hop as a generation. Okay. We call it sampling. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> in in hip hop, and yeah. many of our favorite songs mm-hmm. are sampled. Yeah. Um, there is a process to clear a sample. Mm-hmm. Clearly, at some point in this, mm-hmm. your Mematwale song mm-hmm. and the Kaifa song, there was no clearance of sample. Mm-hmm. And then there's a song, um, oh, yeah, um, yeah. and that's on diary. Yeah. Um, on, on, on AKA his new album which yeah. was released posthumously yeah. there's also an issue with that as well because I think that's Letambulu's song Mama Letambulu's uh, uh, voice yeah. as I hear it yeah. I don't know I tried to search it but it sounds like it's your wife's voice and maybe yeah. that was your composition can yeah. we talk about the situation okay let's talk about that you know I'm really surprised Uguti why this guy Ungwako Malachi I think that's his name I'm really surprised with why he wrote a narrative which reflects his own feelings about AKA. Mm. It's not me. I have nothing against AKA. As a matter of fact, even I think in his thing, he does not talk about the song that is supposed, you know, I'm angry and I'm demanding 50%. Mm. Matswale was way fixed. It was fixed. Because uh, he recorded the song without well, asking for permission. Ne? Sure. But you see, as you know, I'm a sample, sampling, I know it. I mean, started in the States and so on. I know that. And then uh, what happened is that my, 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 my publisher, I have, uh, my publishing is with, uh, for instance, with Gallo, right? And there's a lady who administers the publishing. There is no time in Angulure where I, 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 I talk about publishing with musicians, with anybody. Sure. Not a single time since I was in this business. I have never negotiated a song. Yeah, but, and I don't know why this young man talks as if me and I, I, I demand that 50%. Since when? And I never discussed anything with him. I don't know where he gets this thing to do this. Mm. Yeah, so and this is the journalist that you are, yes, you are addressing yeah, this now. Yes, the journalist. Because he paints me like I'm, I'm cold. I'm, I'm this, you know, I'm hard up for money or something. And that's not my character. I'm not like that at all, you know. And I'm very sympathetic to what, to, to, to AKA with what happened. And I think about his family, what this guy has done to his family, yeah. you know. Because... For me, he is reflecting his 
own emotions about AKA, not B. Mm. I'll tell you, like I said, Matwala was, was done. AKA, you know, uh, took care of that. He took care of it later. And I was not involved. Mm. The publisher was involved, right? The administration, they told me, which now, no, we finished that. Mm. Yeah? Because what happens, I think, if you know, if you, if you sample something, you know, it's either how much of it do you take to use in the song, right? And then they told me what he, he took so much because I had not even heard the song me now. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. song the song fundamentally it's electronic in its nature. Yeah. Um the Kaifa song. Yeah. But if you understand Memanswale, the original composition, right. yeah. you will you will hear that the fun, the, the fundamental on the on the on the beat it comes from that right the the, right. the, the, the melody the way that the beat is constructed yeah. comes from that right so so it was um it was negotiated mm. like with the the administrator my publishing administrator you know they negotiated that and it was out of the way right so i mean uh, i don't know if you know my way to intombini yes so yes. i was at um we were at universal one time then the first time I met with AKA, I've heard about it. Then he saw me, he was embarrassed. You know, I'm, I'm going to embarrass. But I just smiled, look at him, and he came to me and he said, how are you, Dad? I said, I'm fine. And he said, uh, everything is fine. I said, I said, yeah, it's fine. I need to put the, the, it's all done. Yeah, but then he said to me, what do you think about I did, about the song? Yeah, I think you did a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it was brilliant. And he hugged me and he said, thank you so much, Papa. I was so, you know, I didn't know how to approach you. Yes. Yeah, but, and that was that, okay? So now, and I'm coming now to this guy, uh, because I heard that people are talking about Matswale, that it's much, it's not Matswale, it's the one that you just talked about. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah Hamba Nam. Yeah, Hamba Nam Way. Yes. That's the song. And when the publisher, the, the, the administrator called me, and uh, the funny thing, oh, let me finish this. When the administrator called me, said, do you know that AKA uh, did your song? And I said, my song? Which one is that? She said, and she was talking about something new. And she said, I, it's one of the ones that we have. Uh, I'll check it out for, for you, right? And then when she came back, she said, uh, it's, it's Hambanam. Hambanam. Now I had forgotten. You see, there are two. I've got Hambanam and Hambanam Way. Oh, okay. Yeah, these two. So she was not sure. You know? So she calls me, she asks me, uh, uh, I see it's, a, it's Hambanam Way, Hambanam. I said, uh, well, if I have to hear it, because I don't know which one we are talking about, Okay. So I finished there, nah, yeah. what, okay, I'll come back to you. Now, oh, and then I said to, to her, okay, if he has done it, how long ago? She said, well, I just heard that, you know? And she said, but I'm taking care of it, and I'm talking to his lawyers. Okay. Okay? And I said, oh, fine, you know? And, uh, and I said to her, you know, it's a pity that he's gone because he would have fixed it. Remembering what we did with Matswale. Yes. You know, I said he's gone, but it's okay, you know. And she said, uh, and the lawyers told me that uh, it will take some time because there are a few problems that they have to do with his estate. Yes. And I said, there's nothing else we can do. You just have to wait. Just you wait, just yeah. Have to, yeah. And yeah, that and, was that. And also, coincidentally, which is sad, he passed on. Yeah. And perhaps the rolling out of this album, we knew that it was going to be released yeah. um, at some point this year. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it would have clear, cleared all the samples yes. had it not passed on. Right. Because you are confirming that he had yeah. cleared the original sample, yes, the, the first one, the Kaifa song. Yes, he did, you know. And, uh, and, and um, so, so I said, okay, you know, you just have to, be, you have no problem. I mean, there's, no, there's nothing you can do. You just have to be patient. We have to be patient. It will be done, mm. okay? And even at this time, I'm not even sure which song it is, by the way. Yes. Because, like I said, there's not Hambanam and not Hambanam way, you know? Okay, so I leave it there. Then I get this call from this guy, and he says to me, uh, I am, I said, I am Malachi, you know, I'm From a Tam's journalist. Life. Yeah, uh, I'm a journalist. I heard that uh, uh, AKA recorded your song. 
you know. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, he did. I heard that. And he says, uh, 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 and he didn't even ask me what song. He just said a song, recorded your song. I said, yeah, I heard that. But then something just clicked. I said, yeah, but uh, it's it's no big big deal. You know, it's no big deal. Because if he were alive, I know he would fix it. Mm. I said exactly what I said to, to my administrator. When the administrator had worked with him before, so she knows him, so it's nothing like uh, it's something new. And he says, oh, okay. Then I just said to him, look, if he was alive, he would fix it. But it's okay. Then I said to 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 yeah, now this person, and it's not the first time AKA has done this to record his thing. Even with Matwale, mm. he did this and it was fixed later. You know, so there's nothing strange about it. And I said to him that and then when he saw me, I saw him at at uh, um at uh, the, at Universal. At Universal, and I was with my Twitch. Yeah. And I told him that. Then he was embarrassed, and he came to me, and he said, what did I, what did I think about what he did? Yeah. I told him that it was good. I actually want to go to the article, because yeah. these are two different contrasting emotions. Yes. Yeah. As we are hearing from you, mm -hmm. um, I remember that when I was reading that article, it, it, gave, you, it gave the impression that you were angry. Yeah. And now you are telling us that you you didn't have a problem. You had already no. the the first song was already fixed, um, and there was no problem. You you told him in no uncertain terms yes. that there was no problem. I just want to go to that article if I can find it in a moment. Okay. Um, and I first saw this on um, on Sunday World, mm. um, and it's at the, I think it's the same. It's the same. It's the same same uh, journalist that you're talking about here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's exactly yes. it. It, yeah. it's on the, it was on the Sunday World. Um, and they're quoting sources. Um, they're saying that the old man... Uh, so it says, when the, when, when the old man heard that he sampled his song without his permission, he understandably blew his top and, re, and, and demanded his royalties. So basically how it pains you is that you were extremely upset that AK recorded a second song of you. On top of that, the, the, for me... The personality of this article, I'm not going to go through it now. Um, it's on the Sunday World if you want to go. It's on yeah. the internet, the Sunday World. Mm. Mm. The, the personality and the tone, that's why I wanted to talk to you about this yeah. as the first thing we deal with, mm -hmm. is that you were upset. He didn't pay you for the first one <laughs> and you met him face to face uh, and AK was apologetic when you met him first, face to yeah. face mm -hmm. about the first one. And now, in in your presence, it's I mean, this is visual. Yeah. The video, it, it show you, it's this is you. You're not a... A digit, this is not a digital version of you. No, this, this is, is the real you. Yeah. And you're saying that everything is sorted out. Yeah, it was sorted out. Like I say, much while it was sorted out. Mm. You know, like for instance, Unkulule, uh, you know, I've, I've uh, I established Siminya music in when I was 32 years old. John Levy, you know, helped me to put my publishing together. Yeah. And then since then, I have never, never, not once negotiated a song. Mm. The publisher does that. That's their job, mm. you know. So John Levy and, the, and my Seminia Music is a division of Gopem Enterprises. If he wanted to know anything about me before he says that, he should have asked me, who are your publishers? Mm. If he has any knowledge about music and sampling and all that and copyright, he would have said, who publishes your stuff? Mm. You know, he just runs and he, he writes nonsense. It's rubbish, you know? So, Mina, like I said, Matwala was done, you know, and I was not even involved. In the negotiations, yeah. none. Because, and his lawyers, if they're around, they'll tell you, they've never seen me. They've never heard from me. Mm. They've never got a call from me saying anything because who am I going to demand the 50% from who? Yeah. From, from AK? And he says, I knocked on AK's grave. I'm not like that. If you're in when somebody, you know, you sympathize with Absolutely. Them. You know, you sympathize. And the way this boy died, to me and Mina, there is no song that's worth his life. Mm. 
Fifty percent. What's fifty percent of what? And he didn't even know what song it is. Mm. Does he know which song it is? And I just found out. I can show you that I asked the 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 the, um, the administrator, "Go to which song are we talking about?" Mm. So already he said I was asking fifty percent of what. I can show you. I'll show it to you, Guti. I was asking which one is it because yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I gives the people the impression that it's Matwale. Matwale was long, 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 long fixed, aka fixed it. You know, and there's a picture that I took with him and we were smiling. Yeah. Because I admired the boy. He was very smart, you know. And you know yourself, there is no way if you are in my business, Ukale Une Publishing, and like I said, John Levy taught me how publishing works and he took care of every negotiation which has, has to do with the song. I have never dealt with it. Now, if I am going to explode when somebody has done, then I'll drive away business. Mm. It will be very bad for business. And AKA is not the only person who's recorded my, my uh, or sampled my songs. Yeah. Even Black Coffee. A, a few months before Black Coffee had done that game, music in the air. So I'm used to this. It's sure. not new. Yeah. There are other people, Black Coffee, I think uh, they asked for permission before. But there are many others who did my songs without my permission. Mm. Actually, not my permission, not my publisher's the permission. The publisher's permission, yeah. And the pub publisher would come to me and say, so-and-so has done a song. And I would say, well, do the best you can. Yeah. You know, you know, whatever, what's the percentage, you know? And then, uh, because they would ask me, how much do you want? And I would say, why don't you send it to me? Let's check how much the person has done before you charge the person anything. Because mm. there are other people, who, it's like 10%, others is 20%. The person did not use that much mm. of your song. It just took a little bit. And sometimes, and I've come, I remember the last one, there was a guy who had said, uh, who took uh, Unomalanga. Yes, U U U U U U U Boy. Yeah, that, yeah. That was a brilliant trip up song. That was, that was brilliant. That was a and, brilliant song. Yeah, and, uh, and it was done. Does anybody who has ever, I mean, the readers of this guy, do they have a history of me calling the press and mm. telling them that somebody has recorded my song and I'm angry? Do they have a history of me? And how many of my songs have been recorded by many people and sampled by many people, including our Kanye West? Mm. Eh? This is the first time. It's not the first time. Mm. You know, and there's nothing wrong with them doing that. It's good for me. What what uh, AKA has done for me, it's good for me. I'm gonna get some money. Yeah. Long. I don't care whether it's ten percent, whether it's twenty percent. It's fine. Yeah. I have no problem with it. He has a problem with AKA, and if he had the guts, he should have told you AKA what the narrative that he has written down, it's his own narrative. It reflects his own feelings about the AKA, not mine. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that clarification. In fact, I, I just want to say as well that um, as we record this, there's a there's a big story in America. It didn't, it's not a big story. Uh, the artists are now laughing about it because P. Diddy is, uh, is formerly known as Puff Diddy. He's a billionaire. Yeah. Um, he confirmed actually that when... In 1997, um, his best friend, Notorious B.I.G., died. Mm -hmm. They recorded a song called Missing You. Yeah. Um, and it it takes from the police's um, Every Breath You Take. Every breath you take, I'll mm -hmm. be watching you. Okay. And they, they, they did that song in the hip-hop context to say, I'll be missing you. And they did it as a tribute to their dead uh, brother, their dead friend. Yeah. And now what they actually confirmed, which was to us a ridiculous news story, but it, it, it shows us a window into the world of sampling is that P. Diddy has to pay police um, 5,000 US dollars every single day as a result of the success of that song because yeah. it became so big yeah. and they make millions, they made millions and millions and millions. Mm -hmm. They didn't get the clear, the, uh, the, they the didn't clear the sample mm -hmm. in the first place. Yeah. And therefore, um, it was determined that what they will do is pay them Mm -hmm. A fee, which is the equivalent to paying five thousand US dollars every single day until mm -hmm. they die. <laughs> this is that's much. a ridiculous amount. Yeah, of money. that's that's really. And ridiculous. and they they confirmed Guti, they are also friends as well. They they're happy. It doesn't matter because I think with P Diddy, mm -hmm. whatever amount he has to pay, it's a percentage of what he already gets. So if it's, okay. if if he is getting ten thousand per mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. from that song because of how it was successful, mm -hmm. then he has to break that bread in half. 
and yeah. give it because the the whole missing you song is, is 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 it's literally the heart and soul of uh, every breath you take. They just took that song. Mm. Faith Evans was singing the hook and they were rapping on it, but literally, the musicality of that song comes from that other song. You, it's like choking. It's the same song. It's the before yeah. and the after. There's yeah. nothing fundamentally that yeah. changed yeah. on that song. So the 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 industry of sampling is very interesting. Yeah, it's sampling, and and also Mina really. I don't know. I, I think maybe he thinks he's an entertainer. He wants to entertain people, but he shouldn't use my name. He should he should reflect and tell his the people his readers about himself because you know the sampling. As a matter of fact, what it does, it it promotes your brand. Yeah. Why should I be angry when somebody like AKA promotes my brand? Introduces you to a new audience. Yes. It's a new audience, any taller from youngsters, you know? Black Coffee did that. So why should I be angry? I want more of these people to do these things as I'm. Yeah. And, the, and like I said, I I need to move, I don't I don't I don't negotiate. And then they will negotiate for me, mm. you know. And was Angela got twenty five percent. Are you okay with it? Sometimes getting maybe it's too much. Why? Sometimes sometimes I can say why did you why twenty five percent? But really, it's nothing. Mm. That is why I'm saying to the readership, you have never never heard me complain about any song, never on the stage or in a paper. It is never. This is the first time, mm. and it happens when somebody was killed. Or AKA okay. why? Why should I do that? Why didn't I complain about all these other peoples? Well, AKA, do I have something against him? Mm. Because that's what it is. Do yeah. I? No, I don't. Yeah. I thought he was brilliant. And I wish he had lived more so he can do more of my songs. Yeah. And so he can introduce me to his audience. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. Um, You mentioned something interesting as I'm listening to you about, did Kanye West sample any of your songs? Yes. Can you help tell us which one? Uh, it was uh, Kukuchi, I think. Hmm. Because another one, uh, some, some, uh, yeah, Kanye, I think it was Kukuchi. Uh, Kukuchi, 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 you know. Hmm. Kukuchi, Kukuchi, Kukuchi. Now, Siminya, this one is run by Siminya Music and it's run out of New Jersey. And it's Lori Goldstein is the administrator. Yeah. Right? Like I said, Siminya Music is, uh, is, uh, a, a division of Gopem Enterprises. Gopem Enterprises was uh, was uh, John Levy's, you know, uh, a baby, mm. you know, and it's still alive. And uh, with Junet and part of uh, 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 Gopem Enterprises has also Junet, who cannot ball utterly. Yes, cannot ball utterly, yes. I yes, know yeah. So U U John Levy, Helped double cannon ball utterly, and I came as a youngster from South Africa, and he helped my my uh, my publishing too. He established it for me, and uh, and I got everything from him to say, "You don't say any word, I'll do the the rest." Yeah. You know? So it, it, is, is it is it? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm asking about Kanye West because we grew up on him. Yeah, I think he introduces you. us. He introduces us to a lot of old school. Music, yeah. Um, in fact, like we end up knowing a lot of people through him hmm. uh, because he would have sampled them. Um, yeah, you know, there's a song that he did on. Uh, it's called. It's by Smokey Robinson. It's, it's it's called. Will you still love me tomorrow? Yeah. Um, he will did it. Will you on still a, love me tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Will yeah. you still love me tomorrow? Yeah. It's it's a beautiful song, yeah. but I didn't know it until I knew the song. That Kanye West is called yeah. "Devil in a Dress." Yeah. Um, and he, I think he took a lot of the electric guitars or something like that, and even the some of the some of the vocals as well. Mm. So how would you say that it's more lucrative to be sampled by, as we talk about the to topic oh, of yeah. sampling, to be sampled by an internationally known musician? D yes, yes, it's 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 lucrative, and also like uh, you know, I mean, as a musician, you just don't want to be known by Ungulule Bunusbanbat. Yeah. You know, you want to be known. Globally. You know, and especially because we make money out of, you know, I'm a composition of Tala. Some people take the entire Lokuzar. Like, for instance, when Nina Simone recorded uh, West Wind, I didn't even know. Yes. Who <laughs> did Nina recorded West Wind? I knew who to meet him, but I mean, the publisher took care of that. And then they sent me a copy and then I said, wow, Nina did a wonderful job. But I was not thinking even with the percentage of. 
the fact that I could make Lina, you know, Ulina can take a song of mine and record it. Like Ulu Rose took my, my, my son, recorded, or well, Cannonball has recorded my song. So, I mean, I'm happy when people record my songs because yeah. that means Utinoma Sen Kukil. There'll be five ranting and I'm muting song. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, yes, so why should I make a, a big problem when we do want to Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, let's, let's leave him. Let's leave him time. Let's leave him time. Leave him time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I, the thing is, and I said this, like, you are here. People can see you. Yeah. This is not a, they're not hearing your voice only. They can see that this is you. You're confirming that you're happy with any musician who takes your music. Oh, yeah. I think Zulu Boy did an incredible song. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I think the, the concept was that he's a soldier. He's going to exile. Um, Umshilo Nomalanga. Yeah. And he comes back. Nomalanga has now changed. Um, even though they're, they're burning love together. Now that I've gone as a soldier in, in exile and I come back, you're no longer the same person. Yeah. And I remember it was played on Trouble and, and, and a lot of um, Nguni radio stations a lot. Um, that's where I first heard that song. Yeah. And, and I'm a hip hop follower. So I, 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 I really, it revived the fact that, oh, you have a song called Nomalanga. Yeah, you know, then you are more aware. Oh, yeah, yeah this song comes from that the Kaifa Semen. Yeah, and and you know when he did it, he didn't tell me. You know, see, that, that's a, we're going back to this one. But the truth is that he didn't tell me. I didn't know. Who see Po? Who look who's that? What sticks? Who see Po? His manager. Sipo Stole. Who Stole? Who Stole just said to me, Brakai. You know, when I didn't know what Sipo was talking about. And then finally, I think Lucipo gave me the, the copy. What well, you check this out? Mang Mameleng, it's you. Wow. This boy, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Gabba. And uh, that was my reaction. And the percentage was, did not even enter my head. You see, when you're an artist, the, the thing is that if a young person, often I know Zulu boy, can take what you have done and did that, that's the first thing that comes to you. That's the first thing, which, wow, <laughs> you know, Gandhi, Gandhi, you know, I am, I have the talent that can actually even attract young people, mm. you know, that's the first thing, that was my first reaction. And then when Zulu boy met me, he asked me, Zulu boy, what can I tell you? You can ask him, and, and everybody who's done my songs, really, if you had a chance, how does Ntate Kaifas react when you've done his thing? And mm. none of them, we have never negotiated that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Can we talk about something very interesting with... Um, it's you spend a lot of time in America at mm. some point, mm. and there is a cultural exchange, and you spoke about this at length before we started recording. Yeah, that happens in America with South African artists. The Americans are sympathizing. Sorry, just give me a moment. 